So you're moving to Virginia and you're thinking to yourself, where in the world do I start my research? Well, guess what? In this week's video, I'm gonna share with you 11 things that you must know before moving to Virginia. And make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you hands down my least favorite part about living in Virginia. And we're getting started right now. Boom! Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor. It's another beautiful day right here in Northern Virginia. If it's your first time here on my channel, please smash that subscribe button because every week I release videos about living, working, playing, pros and cons, top neighborhoods, cost of living, basically everything that you need to know about living right here in Northern Virginia. So I get calls, texts, emails almost every single day from folks just like you who are relocating to Northern Virginia and I absolutely love it. So if you're ever thinking about moving to the area, you know, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me, just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Virginia. So yes, the name of this channel is called Living in Northern Virginia, and 95% of the content on this channel is based on living in Northern Virginia, but I really wanted to make a video on Virginia as a whole because Virginia has so much to offer. So I've personally lived in Virginia for about 20, 21 years now, and I absolutely love it. And as long as I live on basically on the East Coast, I'm not living in Virginia. Unless I go to the Caribbean, I will definitely leave Virginia to go to the Caribbean. But I want to make a video on 11 things that you must know before moving here. So let's get the video started with the first thing on the list, and that's going to be the history. So if you're a history buff, you're going to love living in Virginia. In fact, Virginia was the first permanent settlement of the British and one of the original 13 colonies. Also, Virginia played a huge role in the American Revolution and Civil War. An interesting fact, four of the first five presidents were actually born right here in Virginia. So I remember as a kid going on field trips to historic towns like Charlottesville, Williamsburg, and Jamestown. And when you're there, you can really just sense the history and kind of where this country came from. Next on the list is Virginia could easily be split to two different states. First, you have Northern Virginia, which is gonna be the affluent suburbs of Washington, DC, extremely expensive to live in and two main focuses of people who live in Northern Virginia is education and climbing the career ladder. And then you have the rest of Virginia, and this can be the rural South, much slower pace of living, a lot less expensive to live in, and you can definitely gonna have that Southern hospitality that you're not gonna get from folks who live in Northern Virginia. So both are gonna have the pros and cons, but you can definitely basically make Northern Virginia its own state and the rest of Virginia its own state as well. Now the next thing that you need to know about living in Virginia, it is expensive. And when I say expensive, I'm talking about the price of housing. So according to Zillow.com, the average price of a home in the United States is $298,000. Now that same home in Virginia, on average, is gonna cost you $332,000. So you can see homes in Virginia sell for $34,000 more than the national average. Now wait, let's jump to Northern Virginia. Now the Northern Virginia region, average sales price is $689,000. That is mind blowing. That's literally more than double the national average and Virginia as a whole. So yes, it is expensive, more, more expensive than other parts of the country to live here in Virginia, but there are so many pros to living here in Virginia. And probably one of the biggest cons of living in Virginia is it is a little bit more expensive compared to the rest of the country. Next on the list is higher education and colleges. So let's say you move here, you got the kiddos in middle school or maybe you got some teenagers in high school and they're ready to go off to college. And deep down inside, you don't want them to leave and go to like Florida or Texas or California. You want them as close to home as possible. Well, guess what? According to niche.com, Virginia has five of the top 40 public colleges in the nation right here in Virginia. First, we're gonna have the third ranked public university in the nation with UVA. And then we're gonna have number 10 with William and Mary. And coming in at number 13 is gonna be Virginia Tech. And at number 35 is VMI. And at number 40 is gonna be JMU. And this doesn't even take into consideration George Mason University, which is located in Fairfax, Virginia, which I, what I believe is hands down the best university in Northern Virginia. Now, one of the most iconic slogans in the US is Virginia is for lovers. 
And when you drive around Virginia, you're gonna see that slogan absolutely everywhere. So the slogan has been around for over 50 years and it dates all the way back to a court ruling back in 1967, which was Loving vs. Virginia. And what that did was uh, it actually legalized interracial marriage, not just in Virginia, but the United States as a whole. But I absolutely love the slogan, Virginia's for lovers. And that is something, I think we have the coolest slogan basically in the US, but I love it. Just drive around seeing Virginia's for lovers just really puts a smile on your face. So are you a beach person? Well, guess what? You don't have to drive to Florida or fly to the Caribbean. We have a beach right here with Virginia Beach. So when you live in Virginia, there's gonna be a 99% chance at least once a year, you're gonna go down to Virginia Beach with the family, have some fun. It's a very family friendly area. And one of the best parts about Virginia Beach is the three mile boardwalk. There you have great restaurants, beautiful hotels, a lot of entertainment. And the best part is, is the beautiful views of the ocean. It is so much fun going down to Virginia Beach. In fact, I'm making, as I'm making this video, I may have to leave to go to Virginia Beach right now. See you later. Now, I gotta finish this video first, then I'm going to Virginia Beach. If you're getting any value out of this video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, really helps me with the YouTube algorithms. That way I can keep on making awesome videos all about living right here in Virginia. Next on the list is the weather. Everybody wants to know what the weather is, especially if you're moving from other parts of the country. So yes, here in Virginia, we do experience all four seasons. So summers tend to be very hot, very humid. In fact, just a week ago, it was like 98 and humid. I stepped outside for two seconds and I'm like sweating bullets. Winters, they get very cold, very brutal. We can easily have temperatures under 30 degrees for 30 straight days. And we're prone to getting blizzards here and there. Springtime. It's absolutely beautiful. That's when the trees start blooming. It's just the, the flowers come out. So it's actually very nice and mild, not too humid. And fall is very beautiful as well. That's when the trees kind of turn red right before the leaves start to fall on the ground. So it is great having all four seasons. There are some cons as well. I mean, the weather can be unpredictable. I've seen it rain 23 out of 28 days. I've seen it one day, it's 85 degrees. Next day, it's 45 degrees. And like I said, summers are super humid. So there's some pros and cons to the weather here in Virginia. But if you like all four seasons, guess what? The weather's gonna be perfect for you. Next on the list is wineries. So if you didn't know this, Virginia is the wine capital of the East Coast. Oh, I just made that up, but they might as well call it that. So Virginia is gonna feature over 4,000 acres of wineries throughout the state. And they, they broke it down to 10 different regions. And in those 10 different regions, you can have over 300 wineries. Now there's some great wineries here in Virginia. The wine may not be as good as something like maybe a Caymus from like Napa Valley, of course, but the wines are still fantastic. And probably the best part about the wineries is going there on like a Saturday or Sunday afternoon with your friends and family, especially on maybe on a nice spring day and just looking at the beautiful scenery, drinking some wine, having some cheese. That's one of the best things to do and so much fun. And hands down, if you live in Virginia, I absolutely guarantee you at least a few times a year, you will be spending a Saturday or Sunday afternoon at one of the local wineries. Next on our list is gonna be politics. So the last four presidential elections, Virginia has voted for the Democratic nominee. But if you look at the actual, the map and how everybody votes, if you look at it, the majority of it actually votes Republican, but the three major metropolitan areas, Northern Virginia, Richmond, and Virginia Beach, they all go Democratic side. And that's where the majority of the population is. So that's why this state has always gone democratic for the, at least the last four years. But depending on where you are, the majority of the land area will vote more Republican, but the more metropolitan areas are always gonna vote more democratic. So do you enjoy breathtaking views, hiking, and really beach is not your thing? Well, guess what? Virginia features so many mountains from the Appalachian Mountains to the Blue Ridge Mountains and more. And the cool thing is wherever you live in Virginia, you're not gonna be any more than three hours away from any of these mountains. So if you love to go hiking, look at the beautiful views, doing outdoor activity, picnics with your family, Virginia is gonna be perfect for you. In fact, some of these mountains can get as high as 5,000 feet. Not quite as high as like Mount Everest, but 5,000 feet, that's pretty high. So, but they're beautiful, they're stunning, you're absolutely gonna love them. So that's one of the best parts about living in Virginia is the beautiful mountains. Now, off to one of my least favorite parts about living in Virginia, and that is we have a car tax. In fact, we're one out of 27 states to have a car tax. So how that works is about every October, you're gonna get a nice bill in the mail from the state of Virginia or, or your county, not sure which one. But how it works is 
you're gonna pay four dollars and twenty cents for every one hundred dollars of assessed value of your car so I'll use me as an example I just bought a car four months ago it was fifty thousand dollars so that means any day now I'm gonna get a bill in the mail for about twenty one hundred dollars I'm so not looking forward to that so many things I'd rather spend twenty one hundred dollars on I can invest it I can go blow it on vacation I can do anything else anything I'd rather do except have to pay a car tax not only silver lining is your car loses value every year so at least that car tax goes down every year but it's probably everybody's least favorite part about living here is that we have a car tax so like I said if you've been thinking about moving to Virginia reach out to me I got your back if you want to continue your research check out these videos right here you're absolutely gonna love them and I'll see you on the next video